G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I'm obviously at my painting desk here in my garage at home. And now that I've got a, a place to uh, paint some figures set up, uh, which I have been doing uh, and I've really been enjoying it. My daughter's been playing in here and uh, my wife's happy that I've got somewhere here to be able to enjoy what I enjoy. And um, it's, it's really, really good. So I thought, look, I'm gonna set myself some goals to start getting my miniatures painted, start tuning through the backlog of stuff that I've got. And uh, irregardless of the quality of the paint, whether it's uh, uh, a nicely painted character figure or something that's just base coated and dipped or stuff that I'm spending a little bit of time highlighting on, uh, I really would like to finish at least seven figures a week, at least minimum seven figures a week. And that week will be measured from Sunday through to Sunday. So it's Sunday evening. I've finished one figure so far and we'll take a look at that. We'll have a look on the desk and have a look at what I'm working on and things that have been happening over the last several days. Um, it is looking like a hobby desk now. It's taken uh, two days to sort of accumulate a whole bunch of stuff everywhere, but uh, I'm very excited about it and I'm hoping that I can uh, pop something up online, either on Facebook or my website or something that uh, uh, allows me to sort of uh, keep track of what I'm doing and sort of have that publicly accountable, um, if that makes sense. I think there's uh, certainly uh, something to be said for having motivators uh, involved in, in whatever you're doing and uh, having uh, public scrutiny involved in something that you're claiming or, or, or claim to be able to achieve is, in, is, is one of those motivators in getting things done. So like I said, seven figures a week minimum. It could be more, it doesn't have to be, but at least seven figures painted and based uh, a week. And uh, uh, as I slowly start to churn through things, my painting styles and techniques will change. I, I really ever do uh, anything the same way twice. I'm always changing. So I'm hoping that by uh, by really committing to this and sort of spending more time painting a whole range of different sorts of figures, my painting skills will improve. And, and obviously with, uh, with practice, anything improves. So let's quit talking about it. Let's have a look what I've been working on this week. So as you can see, I do have brushes down here. I've got mini uh, miniatures on things on these little uh, poles, which I'll talk about in a minute. The hobby is starting to encroach onto my computer desk. Uh, someone mentioned a very valid point um, about uh, paint splatter and whatnot. So I've covered my Syntec with uh, one of my daughter's old uh, sheets from her very tiny bed when she was just a little baby. Um, and that fits perfectly over that screen to protect that. I don't think anything's going to manage to get down that end, but um, this is what I'm really more uh, concerned about. So stuff is encroaching everywhere now. Let's talk about these things first. These are just um, 30 millimeter thick pieces of uh, pine down. I was originally painting on uh, paint pots like a lot of people do. Put a little bit of blue tack on the top there, stick a figure on there, and uh, that gives you something to hold on to when you're painting. But it's not very big and I don't have a lot of spare bottles. I chuck them out sometimes and then I think, shit, I shouldn't have done that. But um, I thought, look, I'm gonna upgrade to something that's a bit bigger. Something that uh, fits in my hand properly. It's uh, a nice width and um, as you can see, bit of blue tack and they work really well. So I splashed out sort of, uh, I think they were $21.50 for a 2.4 meter length of, uh, of this and I cut them into nine centimeter sections. I did post on Facebook that they were 10 centimeters but they're actually uh, nine. So what have we got going on here on the hobby desk? On all these uh, little plinths here, I've got a whole bunch of Ronin figures. These are produced by North Star for uh, the game Ronin, which is a, a feudal, uh, Japanese samurai game, which uh, you may have seen uh, around the place if you're interested in lots of different sorts of skirmish games. And uh, Tristan from Athelith, or whatever his channel is called, did some really amazing battle reports on Ronin. So I've got those uh, on the go. So I've got one faction here, another faction up there. They're all undercoated. The other two factions at the back have all been cleaned up and I'll undercoat those shortly. That gives me a whole bunch of figures there to work on. I have painted one of them. Oh, let's reach up here. So I've painted one guy. He's not fantastic and his hat's a little bit lame, but um, I'm, I'm happy with him so far. Uh, I just need to do his base, but that is the one figure so far for this week. Pop that up there on the shelf. 
I've been uh, assembling some of the plastic figures from uh, Warlords for um, World War II. Now, I'll probably play Bolt Action and uh, Chain of Command, but these figures are fiddly to work with. They're a nightmare. I might come back to those later on. I've got uh, my figures for uh, Twilight based and uh, undercoated in black. They're going to be quite dark, these figures, so I, I thought a black base coat would work well. So it's hard to see anything from uh, the pictures here, but um, I've got those two factions and the third one here. That's sort of what I started painting a while back and, um, and never really made any progress on them. I think I stripped them once because I wasn't happy with the job that I was doing. So anyway, I've got... Uh, Four factions that I can work on that are all undercoated. Six soon uh, at the back here. I've also got some of these figures that are ready to be cleaned. Mold lines removed, excess flash and all that sort of stuff. These are the Mud Men uh, from uh, our own range of figures that uh, I'm going to make a company for in Her Majesty's name. Um, I'm going to make a company uh, uh, using the rules. For and uh, use my mud men figures for those so there's another set of figures that I can get ready to uh, pop into the queue for my seven figures a week uh, pledge now those figures those plastic figures from Warlord these are from the British starter box sets a thousand point starter box set for the British um, they're so massively fiddly these figures they look I've got a I've got to say props to the sprues. The uh, the tooling is amazing. The sprues are amazing. You get so much stuff on here, but everything is is individual. All of the weapons are individual, and I mean that's that's fine and that's fun for some people. But as I mentioned on Facebook, I'm not a chop shopper. I don't enjoy modding figures or converting or customizing figures. Um, for me, I really just want to get the figures a sort of if I can, uh, single piece or glue an arm on or glue a backpack on or whatever. <laughs> Slap some paint on it. Obviously, I'm not very good at that. Uh, hence the reason for my pledge. Uh, but you get, get it ready for gaming. And this whole process of spending hours trying to assemble figures and fuck around and it's just not something that I enjoy. So I did queue up Band of Brothers last night thinking that it would be great inspiration to assemble these guys. But uh, I've watched the whole of Band of Brothers. I pretty much watched the whole of it last night. I didn't realise until 4 o'clock this morning that I was up to episode 9 and uh, it was 4 o'clock in the morning and I hadn't even done 10 of them. Why? Because they were so frustratingly annoying to just fiddle and fiddle and, oh, God, pose this and pose that and fucking them these matching weapons hold this type of brain gun or den gun or rifle or whatever. It was just so annoying that I sort of bugger that. I started undercoating the figures for Ronan so I could paint them today. Um, but I'm slowly going to work on that project. Then I'll slowly work on the Germans. Then I'll slowly work on the US I have. And God forbid I'll probably end up, end up getting some Russians at some point. But that's going to be a long-term project, I reckon. I'm going to stick with these little skirmish games that I really enjoy playing. So... Um, those plastic figures from Warlord, fantastic kits. If you love plastic kits, the, the ones from Warlord are, are, are great. The guns are really, really thin. They're really, really fragile. I can see them breaking. Um, the, the detail is fantastic. You can't fault it. They're, they're scaled, I guess, uh, proportionally uh, to some extent. Um, but they're just fiddly to put together. I'm sure once they're all put together and you've glued on hundreds of different sorts of accessories the kits come with, um, uh, they'll be fine. Um, but uh, it's just getting there that's uh, uh, the issue for me. Anyway, I'm not sure what else I can include in this update here. Um, I'll upload an update every Sunday for uh, the last week. Just a wrap up of what I've painted. And... Uh, Take things from there, seven figures a week minimum, painted and based. So it could be more, could be less. Quality is uh, uh, not important. It's whether the figure is painted or not. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sure more things will pop up during the week. And uh, I'll get some cameras out if it's uh, interesting enough to capture some footage for. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend if you're still living in the past. 
or if you're going to watch this in the future, have a great day or whatever it is. I'll catch you next time. See ya.